Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike in Direct Sound, and we are, nope, we're not doing it from scratch, but we are going to do a quick vlog here. Um, got some new announcements. Uh, I've been looking around. You might have heard in one of my last videos that I was in the market for some new uplighting. Um, I kind of threw that out there. And I've been looking around and trying to, you know, I'm watching all your guys' videos on YouTube. Keep up the great work. You, do, you have, guys have some amazing videos. Really helps me. Not only do I do videos, but, you know, hey, I, I use YouTube as a tool, and, uh, and it's a great tool. So great for shopping and great for the knowledge base out there. And uh, DJ Ronnie G, uh, Big Ron, DJ Bo, uh, Nate Brennett, and um, who else? Rock and Rob, and even Roller God out there uh, put out some amazing videos on the Flat Par Pro. And the Flat Par Pro series, you know, they're, it has a really cool look. Now, there's some different versions of the Flat Par Pro. There's the RGB version. There's the RGBA version. There's the RGB a W version. There's all kinds of crazy. There's a 10 millimeter ones or three watt ones uh, or, or tri LED ones, one watt, tons of them out there. So it's really hard to pick and choose. Uh, and not only from eternal lighting, excuse me, but there is, you know, the similar fixtures all, all around. All kinds of people have different kind of up lights out there. Um, my Shave fixtures were, you know, they're still a really nice fixture. I still have them here at the, at the shop, but I kind of put them through their paces. Also, I wanted to get something a little more compact where I can put more in my bags, less space, uh, easier to maneuver, and, uh, you know, I at least have the same output. And I'm, I'm happy with my Chave output of my PAR 56s. So I wanted something similar to that or just a little bit more. And um, the biggest thing I have to worry about is power draw. Now, power consumption is a big problem at the venues that I work at normally. So I try to keep the power consumption to a minimum. Uh, I normally do a lot of uh, big moving head stuff and uh, gobo projection and even my source fours those things suck a lot of current and uh, I'm trying to keep that power draw down. Anyway made a few phone calls around checking out uh, some different manufacturers um, most of them didn't call me back uh, so they lost the sale and it was and I didn't tell them who I was you know I just said hey I'm interested in some uh, park hands uh, can you give me a call back? Blah blah blah, and you know they didn't call call back. So anyway, I uh, gave Mark at Eternal Lighting a call. Uh, he was very helpful on the phone. He we talked about the power issues that I had. He was kind of leaning towards the uh, tri LEDs, which are really really cool, and I really like the tri LEDs. And you know maybe down in the in the down the road I might end up getting some of those, but. Right now, I, I need to replace my uh, Chave Park hands uh, with something similar or, you know, like those. Um, I would have went with the Chave uh, Slim Pars, uh, but I wanted something that didn't have the mount that went on the bottom. I wanted something that I like the uh, Flat Par Pro style that comes out the side, and I don't have DMX issues. I can lay it on the floor if I want. I can use the, uh, the little stand that pops out and use it that way. So, I, you know, I put all these things in, into perspective. I don't need to make base plates for them. They can do what they need to do. And uh, I thought that was really cool. So, um, so anyway, I talked to uh, Mark and, and we, uh, we, 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 we discussed it, went around and around, and, and basically we came up with the, uh, the RGBA version of the Flat Par Pro. And I decided to go with white because 90% of the wedding, uh, events I do are weddings. And I like the white, it's really clean looking. Also, it's a really hard shelled white. It's kind of like a car paint. And uh, you know, it, it doesn't get dirty. You can spray it off with a little Windex and you know, if you needed to and clean it up. But you know, most of these things are gonna be in my bags. I've never cleaned my, uh, my chrome par cans, uh, Chave par cans, so um, you know, hey, whatever. But um, you know, thanks to your guys' videos out there, you know, I gave you the laundry list of guys that I saw videos on and you guys did amazing work on those videos, great job. Um, you were a big influence on, uh, on my selection to go with the, uh, eternal lighting flat par pro. So, uh, behind me, here's a couple flat pars. Uh, I went with the RGBA, an RGBA version. Uh, this one doesn't have the bracket on it, but I haven't put it on there yet. Actually, I have a box, uh, I ended up getting, uh, 30 flat par pros, uh, RGBAs to replace my 30, uh, Chave lights. And possibly uh, getting another 10, so I'll have a total of 40. 
Now I'm not, I haven't decided yet if I want to go with a three watt LED, uh, tri LED to, for the last ten, uh, just to, uh, you know, use for different applications. Uh, the only reason I might, I'm, the only reason I went with the uh, the ten millimeter is power draw. Now power consumption is like I said, it's one of the biggest things that I need to deal with. My venues don't have a lot of power, um, and you know, it's it's tough. So hey, so I'm going to be using these Flat Power Pros in, in all my events um, that uh, they're applicable and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what they look like. From my point of view, uh, we have enough to do some cool designs and make some really cool uh, statements you know, on the walls. Uh, that's another reason why I want another 10 uh, to, to really get them a little bit closer and and make um, make some cool, cool, unique looks. And, you know, every lot, you know, you know, when I started doing uplighting, hardly anybody had uplighting. And, you know, in a couple, three years went by, and just about every DJ out there has uplighting. Well, they're still getting into the mix of things, and, you know, they're not DMXing. They're kind of set and forget. Uh, I'm a big DMX person, and I love the control of my lighting. Well, that's really cool, but, you know what, these lights are really cool, too. Um, you don't have to be a DMX king to own a Flat Part Pro. They have some great standalone features, which I saw in some of the videos. Also, you can take them old school, and um, what's cool about them is you can set them to a color, say you set them to blue, and you don't want to DMX these things. You can plug them into an extension cord, plug them into an old school like uh, uh, switcher, you know, power switcher, turn them on and off, and you, you have a flashy light, up lighting, or whatever you want. You can use them as a band, you can put them on a foot controller, and if you just want a bank of blue on one foot controller and bank of red on another foot controller, without using any DMX at all or any programming skills, you got full blown wash lighting. So pretty cool. I can hand a six pack to a client and then go set them up their own venue uh, because I've already pre-programmed them to be blue and bam, when they get there, they're all blue. So cool, cool um, capabilities with this particular light. Uh, my Chave ones, uh, I would have to mess with a little dip switching, which is a pain in the butt. And uh, um, other than that, I really like the other fixture, but it's it would like time to upgrade. Like I said, I can get three or four of these in the same space that I could put one uh, Par 56 in. So I'm trying to think a little more compact. Anyway, um, that's kind of the new thing here. Also, um, I think it was DJ Charles. Uh, I'm, I don't remember who I mentioned it to, uh, but I said, I'm getting ready to get some new uh, moving heads. And I need to sell my uh, American DJ AccuSpot 250s. Now, I love my AccuSpot 250s. The AccuSpot 252 is an amazing fixture. 250 watt discharge lamp was great. Gobo size was awesome. Um, I, I'm thinking the Gobo size is awesome now because my new fixtures all have 10 millimeter Gobos, which are stinky but the 252s were great the size was kind of a mid mid size compact style uh moving head really cool uh i had it in my uh a custom case so anyway i sold six of my accuspot 252s in the case with cables with uh all the custom gobos that i have so somebody out there is going to have mikey mike style gobos and and uh and a wedding venue's here real quick, and uh, he's he's spinning up on Show Express right now. Now he's not too far away from me, so I got to be careful. But uh, anyway, he's uh, he does more school events and different things like that, so it should it should work out fine for me. <laughs> my competition has uh, all my lights, but that's okay. Um, my my Vizzy spots and my Alation uh, Platinum Pro or Platinum Five Rs um, are are going to be doing fine. I'm gonna pick up another pair of Platinum 5Rs. Uh, love the wash filter, uh, the the frost filter in those things. Oh my gosh, those things are amazing. Also the focus and the zooming uh, capabilities on the Platinum 5Rs. Uh, works really well when I do my vertical mirror balls and that's, that's the direction I wanna go. Uh, also, I have an event coming up on the 14th. Now, I had to, I, a buddy of mine has some eternal lighting, a brand new, and he's gonna let me use these things, 120 watt LED fixtures, okay? This event that I'm gonna do is gonna be in a backyard. Now, I don't 
power consumption is a big issue for me. So, but I like a lot of output. So he, I talked him in to let me borrow his uh, 120 watt, brand new, I mean the coolest things, and uh, he's gonna hang me if I, I break these things. But the uh, the new uh, eternal lighting, uh, what are they called? I can't even remember what they're called. Premier 120s, <laughs> Premier 120s, I remember. Now these things are 120 watt white LED. Uh, they got multiple gobo wheels. They got a uh, a zoom feature, which is it gives you two different beam angles. So you can have a, a tight beam angle or a long beam angle. Uh, it's not really an iris, but it's a focusable uh, beam angle type thing. And it also has focus. Um, it has some really cool uh, stock gobos, uh, some prism effects, and also. Um, the gobos are prism gobos, some of them are, really cool. And what's really cool, I liked, the one real cool feature was both uh, color wheels or both uh, gobo wheels rotate and they're replaceable gobos. A lot of gobos out there only give you one replaceable wheel and the other one's fixed. So it gives you a lot more options to work with. Also, they both rotate. So you could put, you can morph in one gobo and have the other one, the back one spinning. So the one stays in place and, and the back one's spinning so it really gives you a cool effect. You can do some really cool morphing effects with this particular fixture. And I'm doing a Sweet 16 party. So I don't need my wedding fixtures that are all set up for weddings with this, the hearts and stars and foo-foo stuff. I want more clubby kind of looks for the Sweet 16. Now it's also going to be um, a really cool themed uh, uh, Sweet 16. It's going to be a uh, Frog and the Prince and it's a kind of down in the bayou kind of look. We're gonna be doing some low-lying fog. We're gonna be doing some black ice, or dry ice in the pool. We're gonna be doing some lily pads and we're gonna wash the place green and we're gonna do a dance floor with uh, the new uh, uh, Premier 120s. Uh, so I can, maybe I'm gonna bring them in the back and uh, I haven't decided how I wanna mount these things yet because he hasn't. he doesn't have any mounts for them. So I might put them up on some uh, crank up stands in the way back of the yard and, and come real high down a uh, sharp angle to the, uh, to the dance floor area or just wash the backyard and have it sweeping back and forth. Haven't decided quite what I'm going to do yet. Also the flat bar pros are going to be strategically placed around the yard giving us a nice green wash maybe up on the balcony and the rooftop and you know just doing some really crazy stuff with the backyard. So um, it should be a pretty cool event. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I don't have a lot of events booked this year, so you might not see a lot of different, you know, later in towards September area, I have a lot more events, but right now it's kind of just real slow. Uh, my other job just kicked my butt with uh, trying to book shows and meet with clients. Uh, I had to focus on my job, you know, I got to feed the family. And uh, DJ stuff is, you know, another full time job for me, but. I need my insurance, so I definitely have to have that at the second job. Uh, you know, you got kids in sports, and you know, it just it's tough. So I'm trying to balance everything out. But my new job, um, I don't know if you heard about it, but I got a new job. The uh, it's giving me a little bit more freedom and let me breathe a little bit. So some more videos from Mikey Mike. That's pretty cool, and I enjoy do these doing these things, and I enjoy watching your videos. So make sure you leave a comment on the video down below. Um, and once again, props to all you guys that did the Flat Par Pro videos to get me going, leaning that direction. Uh, Eternal Lighting, thank you very much for getting those lights out to me at a great price. Uh, you know, we don't have that, you know, big bond yet between Eternal Lighting and, and Direct Sound. But I'm sure if you told him Mikey Mike sent you, he'll, he'll do the best job he can and get you some great prices. I know if he can't get a great price from me dropping my name... You know, drop Roddy G's or Big Ron's or Bow uh, Bo Entertainment, uh, Roller God, Brock and Rob. You know, they all have these fixtures. So I'm sure if you start giving them a laundry list of people that have those fixtures, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna cut you a great deal. So, and I'm sure the more you buy, the the cheaper they can become. So you know, do the numbers. Um, great light. I like. I really like the light. Uh, I'm using the 10 millimeter, me, 10 millimeter LED ones just because of power consumption. Uh, but I'm looking at those tri LEDs, really looking hard at those tri LEDs. Um, maybe I'll use not as many. You don't have to use as many tri LED fixtures, uh, the one watt style, because you know I have a lot of punch to them. So you're going to get good color and good rich deep color in the room. 
but uh, I like m more lines on the wall than less and more punch. So it's kind of a catch-22 in, in some a aspects. Uh, but some clients only might want four uplights. And I'd rather bring the four 3 watts or tri-LEDs than four uh, smaller 10mm uh, LEDs. Because I'm not worried about power consumption. I just need to, some good color punch in the room. Makes my show look better. And, uh, you know, give or take. You know, it's it's... It just depends on, on your needs. So, anyway, this is DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. Uh, doing a quick vlog. I know it was a little long, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you leave some comments. And um, we got some more Do It From Scratch stuff. I got the Premier 120s. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what they look like real quick here. Um, All right. Okay, I told you I was going to show you the uh, Premier 120s. Here's a Premier 120. Look at this thing. 120 watt LED. This thing is a awesome looking fixture it's huge well it's not huge but it's it's good size um, the focal lens on it look at this that's all light coming out of there it's really cool it has zooming capabilities inside there it has all kinds of cool stuff uh, we're gonna be using this and in, in that backyard because I have low power uh, and I need uh, some real efficient light so I want to go with the LED it's 120 watt output so it's gonna have plenty of brightness for my, and I have a lot more than my MSD 250 bulbs uh, in my, some of my other moving heads. So I want to uh, I want to use this fixture. I uh, want to thank my buddy from LA that let me borrow these things, and uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. So he's he's already on the on the up road, man. He's got four or five of these things, and uh, uh, it's going to be hard to compete. But anyway, we'll we'll do our best. But I really appreciate it. Let me check these things out, uh, especially using them for the show. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll be uh, doing some LEDs here pretty soon. Never know. But uh, we'll give them a shot, see what they look like. And uh, we'll show you guys, so you guys can make your choice and, and see if you guys want to purchase some, uh, geez, some 120 watt LED fixtures. These things are phenomenal. I mean, I checked them out last night, shot them across the neighborhood. <laughs> I was going to say across the street, but it flipping went down the neighborhood street. I mean, just all the way down the street. Um, so uh, they're pretty also, cool. Also... Anyway, uh, We'll be doing some do it from scratch because I'm going to have to come up with some kind of mounting bracket uh, to either mount these things on a tripod or a truss or something. I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put these things in this uh, backyard yet. Um, so we're going to work that out. So do it from scratch. I'll show you guys how to do uh, some more either tripod mounting brackets or some uh, new truss mounting brackets. Also my um, Alation uh, Platinum 5Rs. I have to make some brackets for those. Uh, a couple other things like that. So... Um, Man, just tons of stuff going on right now, and thank gosh I got the uh, the new gig, the new job, uh, gives me a little bit more free time. Um, what else? Oh man, a couple things. Just got so much gear laying around right now. My son came back from college for uh, for summertime. He brought all this gear back, so I got I got rid of a whole bunch of moving heads, but now I got a whole bunch of more gear in the garage. So it's just it's getting crazy. Anyway, um, all kinds of cool stuff. You know, I'm kind of downsizing in a way, but I'm also expanding. I went and saw, oh man, I saw Vinny Vegas' um, Toronto video on this uh, whole, I don't know, I'll try to leave a link in below, because holy cow, well, right when I think I want to downsize, I see this guy's setup, uh, you know, this not guy, but you know, this company's setup, and uh, oh my, I've never seen video projectors run this way, they have it's amazing table pin spotting, some cool washes and, and stuff. It was just flipping phenomenal. Vinny Vegas, you rock, dude. I'm telling you. Just to be involved with that is just the baddest. So uh, it'd be like the... It, I heard this on, on uh, TV today. It's like not Prince Charles or whoever just got married. His brother knows a DJ and set him up in the palace. So... How cool would that be? You know, it's like uh, the DJ business, uh, Simon over there is the guy spinning in the palace. I mean, that would just be the flipping bomb. And I know he does stuff like that, so it's probably him back there. And uh, he's got the hookup. So anyway, I don't know he could do it. That's what's cool about it. So uh, DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. Doing it from a vlog style video here right now. Not doing it from scratch, but peace.